lawyer to Jutama Klo. That's a situation with the PPP. But then again, I want us to, in commenting on that, dovetail into what happened after the announcement. Hmm. The, the, the chaos that we saw in the process of the balloting as well. And everything that characterized the entire event. I mean, you are not new to this, right? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Alfred, uh, once again, uh, good morning to our cherished viewers. And uh, good morning to my co-panelists. Nana, good morning. In fact, I saw him at the demonstration asking for the voters register to be audited. And the, so far, it is the MPP that is against the audit of the voters register. The only reason why they can take that position is that they have something to hide in the connivance with the Electoral Commission. But whatever it is, the register will be audited. Now, with, with that said, Alfred, it's only important that I, I thank the regional executives of my party in the OT region for the past three days, together with the national chairman, we've been touring about eight constituencies there, sending the John Mahama good message to them and marketing our various parliamentary candidates. And the reception has been so excellent with Chairman Japon Kujo leading the charge. That said, you see, Alfred, is it not curious that we have an electoral commission that its work had been characterized by errors, punishing somebody for errors. Mm. Now, people call this electoral commission, <clears throat> Erot uh, erotoral commission. That is how people call them now, erotoral commission. Error. Error. Erotoral commission. Why is that? Look, through the voters' registration process, they kept making error, basic addition and subtraction they could not do. It has to take the NDC to shepherd them, to guide them in that process. This is an electoral commission chairperson who the 2020 election declaration made about five different errors in putting up the figures. This is an electoral commission that was shielded from testifying in the court because from 13, which is the presidential declaration form, do you know that the form that was used to declare Akufuado president was done after we, we filed our election petition? And that is why she would never testify in the court. And such an electoral commissioner has the courage to punish somebody for errors. But you see, like I always say, Institutions should be built on principle. Look, again, Dr. Papa Kwesi if you recall, and I have the judgment of the Supreme Court here. Was it in 2016? Yes, that the Republic versus High Court, Commercial Division, S Party, Electoral Commission, Applicant, Papa Kwesi Indum, mm -hmm. Interested Party, the ruling of the Supreme Court dated 7th November 2016. And this is what the Supreme Court, presided over by just Justice Sofia Dinyna, had to say at the concluding end. He said, look, before the Electoral Commission could take such a decision, they must give a hearing to the person that they want to take the decision against. In fact, the Supreme Court indicated that the motto of the Electoral Commission is transparency, fairness, and integrity. Fairness here connotes the opportunity to give somebody the hearing if errors exist and the benefit of correcting sin. And so the Supreme Court unanimously ordered the Electoral Commission then to give the PPP, uh, Dr. Papa Christine Doom then, mm -hmm. the opportunity, as it were, to correct, if any, the mistake. Now, you have an Electoral Commission where, in this instance, you don't tell the person exactly the mistake. If you don't tell me the mistake, how 
How do I correct it, Madam J. Mensa, and your commissioners? Madam J. Mensa, and your commissioners, you should point out that on the basis of either this signature, on the basis of this incorrect voters register, uh, 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 voters ID, mm -hmm. or A, B, C, D, we have taken this uh, decision. Madam J. Mensa, you are a lawyer, for Christ's sake. How do you expect somebody to defend himself when he doesn't know the nature of the charge and the particulars of the charge against him? That is why even in criminal trial, mm -hmm. there's a charge, there's the particulars of the offense, and the particulars of offense give a summary of the accusation against you. So when you just come and say, and I heard it, mm -hmm. that there, there were errors. Several errors. And, and you say several errors. That was what was coming. What is the meaning of several errors? You yourself, have you not been making several errors? But in each of the instances, the NDC, led by our director election, Dr. Mani Buama, had always taken the pain to say, Madam, this is it. So for instance, our claim, for instance, on the voters, uh, the audit, I'm mm -hmm. sure it's going to Ooh, be... getting to uh -huh. it, so I don't... We yeah. gave particulars. The discrepancies, that is what you do for the sake of fairness, which is part of your motto. We should be interested in integrity. We should be interested in building institutions founded. I don't care whether it is PPP, NDC, MPP, or whoever. The requirement of fairness is fairness. In fact, Article 23 of the 1992 Constitution, okay? And if you come to Article 296, he said the requirement to be fair and candid encompasses the requirement to give somebody a hearing. Mm -hmm. How do you expect me to answer to a child when you have blindfolded me? Mm -hmm. Madam J. Mensa, you have blindfolded me and you say, let's go into a fight. But you know, I find it quite interesting. <laughs> and so in, in, and, and in, you in, see, the principle, the word there is transparency. If you go to the Electoral Commission, their corporate office, mm -hmm. they have a logo. Right there, you see transparency, fairness, and integrity. How can you say you are fair to somebody when he doesn't even know the exact nature of the accusation? See now, this is the, I mean, this electoral commission. Look, I always say, give the person the opportunity. If the person doesn't exhaust that opportunity, that's a different kettle of fish. But when you don't, you blindfold the person and still expect that the person will do some magic. That certainly. And I just want to conclude because we do not intend to uh, waste much time on this issue. This is what the Supreme Court said. It said, uh, <clears throat> consequential orders in appropriate cases to afford candidates the opportunity to comply with Regulation 9.2 of the Public Elections Regulation 2016, CR 94. It has been amended. Consequently, to the above directive, we find it necessary and expedient to make a further order to stay all court, uh, 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 court proceeding pending in the various high court against the applicant by some of the disqualified presidential candidates on the same issue of having been denied hearing to enable the Electoral Commission carry it out mandate. This is a judgment of the Supreme Court of Ghana. I know my senior, Justin Amenuvo, is the lawyer for the Electoral Commission. Senior, this one, we want to have a smooth election, mm -hmm. devoid of all the troubles. There is nothing that precludes Electoral Commission itemize the errors, give it to the PPP, tell them that, look, A, B, C, D person, and incidentally, in 2016, when uh, Sinayiku Otu represented Dr. Papa Kwesindum before Justice Che Bafo, I was in court that day. Yes, I was in court that day. The issue had to do, even that time, Madam Charlotte said, indicated the nature of the errors. Even that one, the court said the failure to give them a hearing before taking that decision was an error.
Okay. In this one, you don't even tell the person what exactly the issues are. <laughs> Madam, I beg you, you and your commissioners, you are giving Ghanaians too much wahala already. We want an election that will be free, fair, transparent.